I think that we really have to keep this move in perspective. And I think that what's happening is that in the second half of last year, first quarter of this year, the dollar had a big rally. In the last six months, we're unwinding that. But the dollar is not at new extremes by any stretch of the imagination. I'm looking at some articles here, one from The Economist magazine saying how the world's abandoning the dollar. Another newspaper article here saying that uh, some Asian countries are diversifying reserves. Look at another article here saying some OPEC countries are considering denominating their oil in foreign currencies. The strange thing about these articles is that they're from February 1995. <laughs> so I think the first thing to do is keep this in perspective. And just like in a, in a rising stock market, everything looks good. In a falling dollar environment, the, uh, the challenges the U.S. faces look overwhelming. And it's mostly a question of psychology. I think the U.S. does face some serious challenges. But when I look around the world, it seems to me the U.S. is best positioned to address these, these challenges.